Good morning, guys. Josh Brown over here with Texas Boat World. And today we are going to talk trailer actuators, trailer brakes, specifically surge, and uh, how they operate. A couple common issues that we see with them and hopefully help some of y'all that get stuck in a pickle out there. So let's talk some brakes. All right, guys. So uh, like I said, we want to talk a little bit about surge brake systems and how they work. And I've, I've got an actuator off the shelf out here to kind of talk to you a little bit about the basic functions. And, uh, and then we'll walk out and look at some of the problems that we typically have. And as you can see here, this is your standard actuator that you're going to see on just about all your boats of some variation. It's going to work in this manner. Okay. Uh, the standard two inch ball here, uh, emergency pull pin and everything. Your solenoids back here with your surge system. Now the way this surge system works, uh, this is in the collar of your uh, trailer there. And what happens is when we hit our brakes, this system will slide and compress this here. That then sends fluid through the line, activates your brakes, applies pressure uh, to assist and stop. Uh, our emergency brake here, what happens if this pulls, so uh, this is attached to a little pulley under here. This pulls and this forcefully is going to compress this spring right here. Uh, that's going to lock it up in case of emergencies, not, and it's going to stay locked up. Uh, now, if you've ever, your truck's a lot stronger than these boat brakes are, so you're still going to be able to move it uh, with some force. Mm -hmm. This is going to press this button here if that happens, and that's going to release that lock out there, and it will release the pressure off. Now, one of the problems we see a lot is somebody's got a boat that worked one day and not the next and they're trying to back up and that thing's not allowing them to back up and that's what this solenoid right here is for okay there's a blue wire here that ties into typically the fifth pin in your trailer harness uh which then ties into the uh, truck uh through your adapter and when you're in reverse in your truck your reverse lights will send a signal through the system and uh, it tells this actuator that you're backing up uh, or tells the solenoid that you're backing up. And that, it, once it gets that signal, it's then going to bypass the system, allowing you to reverse without sending any fluid to the, to the brake caliber uh, to make it stop. So it just essentially bypasses, allowing the pressure to get back to the brakes and move. Um, usually what happens when that doesn't happen is we've got a problem in this line somewhere, not getting power, or we've got a fuse in the truck that's not working. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you next about where to look at for that. All right. So you saw in that one piece down there, we got stuck and, uh, that's what these little keys are made for. And this is our surge system on the actual trailer. So again, the way this thing works is when this, when this actuator compresses, this tongue slides forward slightly, compresses in this little area, applies the brakes. They make these little bypasses, great little things to keep in your vehicle with you. And all that's going to do is slide in and it'll allow you uh, to prevent this from actuating. They've got some magnetic ones uh, that work under the same concept. It slides in there. In worst case scenario, if you're in a pinch, this, this whole crew's about the size of a nickel. Uh, so you could get you a nickel if you've got one and you're in a, in a pickle. The, uh, stick that thing in there. Either have somebody hold it while you gently back up or if you got some tape, tape it on there so it stays. You could do the same thing with a big enough nut. Uh, anything that's going to come. Anything that's going to prevent this thing from compressing is going to allow you to back up. All right, so we talked about most of it, but here's the last part. You can see, got the truck in reverse. Uh, reverse lights are on here. But when I come back here, you can see the trailer's reverse lights are not on. So that's going to be one of our big indicators that there's something something wrong either under the hood of the truck, typically where that's at, or 
somewhere in our ground connection uh, to that solenoid or that blue wire to that solenoid. All right, so each vehicle is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're in one of our shop trucks here. This is a Toyota Tundra, and the main fuse box is here. Now, the labeling on this is also going to be different uh, depending on the vehicle that you're in. But this one, so this one obviously wasn't bad. I pulled it uh, to emulate the fuse being blown. Uh, but you'll see there's a ton of tow haul and there there's some other trailer labeling uh, on here but the one that we're usually looking for is either going to be something to do with tow backup or trailer reverse or something to that effect and it's always a smaller size fuse it's never going to be one of the big 30 well I'm not going to say never I don't know what these these newer trucks uh, they might be running a little bit different but typically that is going to be a 15 amp or below probably a 10 or a seven and a half in this case uh, so that fuse there you can see we're missing out of this spot here so what we're going to do I'm going to replace it and then I'm going to show you what we're doing all right, so even with, uh, we've got our daytime running lights on, so none of the other trailer lights are gonna be on and operating. You can see my my truck's reverse lights are on, just like they were a moment ago. I've got the fuse in, and now we can see that the reverse light on my trailer is on. Now, not every boat has, or not every boat trailer has reverse lights, so it's always not gonna be that, it's not always gonna be that obvious, but, if you're not backing up, if your brakes are locked up, uh, first thing to check, the easiest thing to do before digging into anything is either open that swing tongue and just ensure none of your wires, none of your wires are messed up or cut. Then, and or first, get under your hood, find where that, find where that fuse is at for the trailer control. And most of the time, that is going to fix our problems. It's, Usually a ground or it's that fuse though.